Hey what's up everybody, in this tutorial I just want to point out a quick and cool way that we can create an alternating delay effect. All we're going to do is load a sample and route it through two mixer channels with a different delay on each and then pan. It's nothing special, but it could be useful to throw in every now and then to spice up a track. This is basically, it works the same way as the new delay bank plugin in FL7. So to start with, I've already loaded in two samples, a kick and a clap, and put straight four on the kick and then on two and four on the clap. So now that we have our samples loaded, we'll make sure that the clap is on channel one in the mixer and then we'll go ahead and load delay and then we want to make sure just for this example that the kick is not on any channel so it won't be affected. So now on channel 1, where we have our clap, we loaded the Fruity Delay 2 plug-in, and then we'll route channel 1 to channel 2, and then we'll load the Delay Bank plug-in again. And if you need any help with routing, check out the routing tutorial where I explain routing and sending tracks. Also, we want to uh, remember to bring the volume down slightly on channel 2, so that way the volume will be unaffected. Just keep an eye on the meters to adjust the volume back down. And then what we'll do is pan channel 1 to the left and channel 2 to the right. And now all we need to do is play with the settings. For this example, I'll just play around as I uh, play back the example. And you can see how this will create alternating and pan delays. So we just saw how you can create multiple delay types on the same sample. As always, you can use automation to adjust panning and volume and delay time and all the rest. Again, this is the same technique that's used in the new Delay Bank plugin, but I wanted to cover it because not everybody has the newest version of FL Studio. And it's a great technique for creating little fills every now and then throughout a track and maybe to affect vocals and pan them. My advice would be to play around with different delay settings and also remember you can use this technique with plenty of other plugins to create complex effects chains. So that's about it. Thanks again for checking it out and I'll see you next time.